so your clock stopped working. I'm going to show you how to clean the contacts and get it running again. If you pick up a clock at a state sale or yard sales, let's get it running. Let's fix it. All right, guys, stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. It does help support my channel. Let's get into the video. So you want to know about clocks. So you're at an estate sale or a yard sale and you see a carriage clock, you see a mechanical clock, battery operated, wind up, doesn't matter. You're not sure if it works or not, but the price is reasonable, price is cheap. There is a, there is a, a risk factor, price risk, risk factor. So when you find a clock like this here, this is a beautiful carriage clock, this is a brass, not mechanical. This is a quartz operated clock, but it is an anniversary clock. So it does pivot back and forth. This clock does work, but when I got it, it didn't work. I wanna teach you a very simple fix that a lot of people just don't understand about simple quartz clocks. Most basic and simple fundamental how to get it going. I got this clock for $7.50. This clock is worth around $100. They didn't know if it worked or not. So basically what I had to do is take off these two screws that held the two points here. And this is a glass. And then just pick this up here. This is heavy glass. This is a nice, has some etching in the glass. It has a brass back. So this is all brass. You can see it's a nice, heavy, heavy clock. Nice quality. Clock is probably from the 80s. Uh, maybe late 70s, 80s, I'd imagine. And so basically it's a quartz clock. Okay, so let's look at the back of the clock. Okay, so the main thing about these clocks here, as long as this is hanging and it's pivoting correctly, and it's not, a lot of times it'll be broken, they'll fall off, they'll snap. There's a shaft in here that's plastic. And if that shaft is broken, that's almost impossible to repair because it's hard to find these pieces exactly. But if it's hanging there and it seems to be moving okay, most likely it's just a battery connection issue. And a lot of people don't realize that. And a lot of times they'll put a battery in and it doesn't run and they'll wanna know why. And it's a real simple fix. So let's open this up. These get stuck sometimes, but it's just, pop it open, okay. And these clocks here, and if you can hopefully you can hear it, you can actually hear it ticking. I'll just let you listen. So this clock is running, but when I received it, when I got it, it did not run. And this takes a C cell battery, okay? So a lot of first thing you have to do is replace the battery. And if it doesn't work, something's wrong, right? Not always, very simple. The only thing you have to do is there's a connection inside here. Hey guys, just wanna take this opportunity to thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe, it does help support my channel. I do appreciate that. Let's get back into the video. I hope you're enjoying. Hopefully you can see, I'm trying to get some light on here. Inside the back, and you can see that silver thing in the back. That is one of the connection points for the battery. Take a little sandpaper and clean that, and that's the first step. The second step is over here, there's two more connections, and make sure you clean these two connections. And once you clean those two connections, you'd be surprised, 99% out of 100, this clock is gonna run. So if it just has a little bit of dirt on there, or the connection is just not right, they're very, very temperamental, it won't run. So that's all you have to do is basically put a battery in. It doesn't run to go sell people, sell it cheap, doesn't work. People don't realize all you have to do is just clean the contacts with a little bit of sandpaper. Literally, a small piece of sandpaper like this. You get inside, you clean it, you clean this contact over here, and just rub it against, just rub it against it. That's all you have to do. Just to, it could be a little bit of dirt, it can be a little bit of it, could be anything. It's just a poor connection. They're very, it's very sensitive, these clocks. You pop the battery in. And some, another trick I do is you can twist it. When you twist a clock battery like this, it helps make a better connection, okay? And that's all you have to do. And that's a really good secret. And you can actually hear it now start ticking again. So I, when I first put a battery in this clock, it did not work. Clean the connections, put a brand new battery in, move the battery around like this here. Just what happens, it just rubs a little groove on the back of the battery and it actually just makes a better connection, and that's it. So basically, that's how I got this clock working. It works like a charm. This is a really nice clock, and that's it. Okay, so one more thing I wanna let you know, one more tip. Um, when you get these clocks, these anniversary clocks, either it's either mechanical or battery, it's really important to get the pivot bar at the bottom part here that swivels back and forth to get it level. Even though if it's mechanical, or especially if, especially if it's mechanical. So mechanical, it really has to be balanced because it's a really, really fine instrument. So it really uses a, a really nice uh, balance. It has to be really balanced to get the proper, the rhythm going. So once it's balanced correctly, it'll keep ticking. But most of these clocks that have this type of pendulum in the bottom here, the swinging pendulum, they always have feet in the bottom. And these little feet here are adjustable, okay? So you can adjust the height, adjust the, and, the, and basically what you want to do is you want to make this perfectly level within the center of the pivot 
of the, of the bottom of the base here within the brass. So hopefully you can see inside here, hard to see. But inside there, there's a little bottom of it. Let me open this up so you can see better. So you can really see what I'm talking about. Uh, and you just want to make that in the center. And once it's centered, if this clock is in half decent shape, mechanical or not, it will uh, quartz. Even if it's quartz, you have to do this because it just helps it run correctly. And I'll just show you here a little better shot. So this is the base. So let's make sure that sits in the center of that. And you can adjust these wheels, these, these, these little finger knobs here, and adjust the height. And you can basically level off the clock. Once you have the clock leveled, batteries cleaned, this clock will work for quite a long time. You shouldn't have any issues until the battery either dies again or the battery runs low. And that's the one more tip I wanted to give you. Okay, guys, that's it. All right, guys, so I hope you learned a little something about how to get quartz clocks back and running. It's really simple to do. Really, you know, if you find something in an estate sale, don't be afraid. Take a chance. If it's not a lot of money, you have nothing to lose. If it works, great. Another thing as well, if it doesn't work, people do buy these for parts. I sell them all the time. So people buy the parts, they buy the glass, they buy the handles. I've just, I've made more money taking clocks apart than the clocks sometimes are even worth. And that's another t uh, tip I want to give you as well. So if you find a clock, it doesn't work. You know what? If it's a couple bucks, grab it. I've sold the glass. I've sold pieces. It doesn't really matter. And that's it. All right, guys. So I hope you learned something from this video. I hope I brought you some value today. That's what this channel is all about on the review channel. Um, so that's what it's all about. Okay, guys. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, just if you subscribe, subscribe to my channel, it does help me out quite a bit. It does help support my channel and I do really appreciate that as always. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I hope you, this is a very quick tutorial. I just wanted to bring this to your attention and I hope you learned something. Till the next one and I'll see you at the next review.